Greetings from the Dr. Seuss National Memorial. When Dr. Seuss was born in Springfield, Massachusetts. Here is a walking tour through the Dr. Seuss National Memorial Sculpture Garden. Now there's no fee to walk through and enjoy the sculpture garden. And most of these characters reside in our heart. We know the stories of the cat and the hat, whether you've read the book or you've seen the show. What's really interesting about this is, like I said, we do know these characters and their stories, but to see sculptures that are done in scale of close to life size, it really sets the imagination on fire because it's like you're seeing an old friend, but it is just a sculpture. And there it is. Vision of the man behind the vision. Dr. Seuss. Oh, the places you'll go, Dr. Seuss says. If you're lucky, you'll get to go to Massachusetts and spend time with the cat in the hat. Again, it's more than just the images, it's the writing of Dr. Seuss as well. Oh, the places you'll go. And look who's hiding behind the book. It's the Grinch. Now what's so interesting is this is probably what we would see as a villain character, but it's just so inviting to see the Grinch. Let's continue on. Here's a look of some folks enjoying the sculptures. And there is more to see. And I'm sure you recognize how this is inspired by Dr. Seuss. It's an exhibit called Cats in Hats. This beautiful gate reads to us the amazing world of Dr. Seuss. There's so much more to see than just the sculptures, uh, but this is just like a, a walk through to give you an idea of the sculpture garden. Oh, I missed showing you the stairs. Let's back this one up. Messages everywhere you look. And I'll leave you with one more. And that is the cat in the hat for president. I'd vote for that. Till next time from Massachusetts.